Sunday, 24th November 2019. Kenyans on social media woke up shocked to the news that police had arrested a group of young girls working at a famous brothel in Ruaka. Well, this didn't come as a shock to me, because this is something I've been working on for a couple of months now. It all started when I got this on my Instagram, a screenshot from one of my followers complaining that ladies nowadays in Nairobi are selling sex as cheap as 3,000 Kenyan shillings just to make a living. Well, that made me remember this. A conversation started on my WhatsApp by a lady identifying herself as Sarah. Well, she asked for a job, and when I responded saying that I didn't have any jobs to offer, well, she sent this. I request to hook up with me, saying that nowadays relationships are hard to sustain, saying that she only wanted to spend some good quality time with me, and in exchange, I give her money. She sent me her location and asked me to drop by for some steamy time. I thought about it the better part of the day, and in the evening, with my hidden camera at hand, I headed over to her place. Yo, so guys, she just called me and told me to, uh, to get into the apartments, uh, Mulberry Court Apartments, uh, fourth floor A8. Uh, yeah, bruh. What the hell am I doing here? I really don't know. I don't know, I'm freaking out. I never freak out, but bruh, this this is shocking, man. This this is flipping shocking. Like I kid you not, this is really flipping shocking. The watchman ain't there. I don't know. I don't know what's up. Yeah, let's see. A few minutes later, she appears and gladly welcomes me to her house. Hi. Hey. I talked to back in here. Okay, so. I slowly drive in and park. Well, she doesn't waste time. She welcomes me to the house and straight to the bathroom, where I find two ladies. Yeah. Now they're going to show me how they relax their anal muscles using cucumbers, since they're getting ready for an anal threesome with a rich Indian businessman. They continue showing me how it's done all this time, trying to convince me to have an anal threesome session with them. They tell me, even though it's expensive, the experience is worth it. It's sweeter than any type of sex. I act interested and curious at the same time. I start asking questions to better understand what anal means before I buy this amazing product they're selling. She asks me to join her in the bedroom for some good quality time. At this point, I tell her that I think I have changed my mind. I want the threesome anal sex, and for that reason, I think we need to reschedule. But for now, I think we need to be here. We are quite a few of us people in a department. We head over to the bedroom, and as they get ready for the Indian, I get to learn more about them. I learned that they are all campus students. One of them actually finished Form 4 last year, and that they operate in different houses across Nairobi. It's time to leave, and I say my goodbye. I promise to come back for this team you force them. Then I ask about the Indian.
So in a week you can make an easy hundred k. In a week you can make fifty k. No pressure in the office. Two hundred k in a month. Come for it. In a month you can. It depends. Sometimes you make money. Sometimes you don't. I told you you have to understand me. So you make your eight k and you manage. Eight k. You get like. Me zapata four. Me gawa na fifty fifty. Four na. Kama me tola kasi four four. That's why you prefer getting ten k, five k. Just so many people are here, just to be quiet. Just to be quiet. Okay, okay. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay, there you have it, guys. Uh, it's 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 really shocking what's happening. She just went up, and yeah, man, this is what's happening in this in this age, in this digital age, digital prostitution. Young girls in campus uh, just selling their private parts for money. It's it's really saddening. Uh, uh, hiring out a house in leafy suburbs like Ruaka and Kilimani. Uh, found out also in Roy Sambu. Uh, they're hiring out houses and just selling sex, man, for money. To Indians, to wealthy people, to politicians—it's it, really crazy. Uh, so first of all, they, they they act as if they're looking for a job, uh, randomly looking for your number, and then once you start getting a, a bit chatty with them, uh, they offer sex. And the way they they start the conversation, it's a very casual and very friendly kind of way. Uh, and then you find yourself in places like this. And I've had a lot of complaints from a lot of followers of mine who said uh, they've lost money, they've lost phones, they've lost valuables. So once you've had sex with them they ask you uh whether you want to go shower and or do all that stuff and then once you're there living a property there they, they get to see it uh it's really crazy what's happening so yeah hopefully this video gets to inform a lot of you people gets to educate a lot of people uh so make sure you like subscribe comment down here below tell me what you think man i am shocked man it's happening in kenya man in ruaka man it's a nice apartment very beautiful lady it's really sad to think what's happening in this country Bruh, it's it's crazy. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Tell me what you think. It's it's much man. Yeah. On to the next one guys. Thank you very much. Yo, what's up guys? So it's exactly a month uh since uh my first experience with this ladies. She's referring me to another chick who lives in Westlands just off Rapture Road and I'm headed there right now. Uh the picture she's an Asian young girl very pretty. So yeah, let's see how this goes. At Extendella